Hey everyone, in the fabulous 3D design course, I wanted to just put a little message in here to encourage you to really enjoy this next assignment, to get out there and play. Um, your assignment, which I've put on the screen share here, uh, let me see, actually, I should probably make that a little bit more. There you go. Um, this assignment is to go out into your world and just make some kind of 3D interposition or in intercession. In other words, using three-dimensional design, change the world around you. And so that's the idea. And it's it's pretty uh, it's a pretty unique concept. You know, it's not it's ephemeral. It can be, as this example, where um, the artist um, uh, Andy Goldsworthy just lays down on the ground moments before it rains and his body keeps the ground below him dry. And when the rain causes enough color change, he stands up and that, that silhouette is there for just moments. So that's a very ephemeral temporary kind of example. And there's lots of different examples here, a much more permanent thing. Um, somebody has put a, uh, a mask on uh, a Banksy portrait. I don't know if uh, Banksy himself did the augmentation or not. Um, so yeah, so it looks like here that it says um, that, yeah, it, it was somebody adding to a Banksy portrait, which is kind of an interesting idea. And so you can do these things um, and just have fun with it. I would encourage you first and foremost to be safe, do be safe you know, double mask, get out there, keep distance socially from others. Um, and uh, the other thing is you don't wanna do something that like you perch something up above people's heads that could fall down and hurt them. You wanna keep that safety in mind too. Don't do something that could potentially cause um, hurt to someone. And the same thing, you want to avoid something that might cause damage. If you were to go to a public park and leave like a hard ceramic object or a rock in uh, the central grass that might be kicked up by a uh, mechanical lawnmower and shot off, or it might actually damage the blade. So you want to think like that just to be safe. Um, if you're going to do something a little bit questionable, like it might be problematic to um, do this kind of thing um, to add to a wall mural, um, then, then the third rule is don't get caught. Um, you don't want to do damage, and that's something I know you'll plan but you probably don't want to get caught either. And anonymity is a great quality. Um, take a time, go through the assignment. There's lots of examples in this module. Check them out. Um, get, get really, throw yourself into this. Try to make something, you know, that's, you know, you'll know your success if you make the news, I guess that's a possibility. But um, so, um, but do check out the examples and then get thinking and spend a little time brainstorming, um, jumping, you know, get very playful, get crazy. Imagine the most, you know, what, what ifs, what could happen? Like, um, and, 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 you know, there could be very simple ideas. Like I, I make a thousand thank you cards and I randomly, I, I write thank yous, very personal direct thank yous to people. Thank you for just keeping on going. You're doing a fabulous job and we all count on you. And then you put that in and, and you deliver it to someone's home and not anonymously, or you leave flowers on a whole bunch of people's doorsteps or, you know, who knows, um, what it could be, um, but make lists of what ifs. What if I did this? What if I did that? Um, and just kind of play with it. And then you want to kind of work uh, smarter, not harder. Keep playing until you find something that has a spark to it that's really exciting, but also is uh, reflects your thinking, your, your thoughtfulness, so that it turns out it's less labor intensive and more engaging. So those are possibilities. You could kind of think of it in a, in a grid. There's there's high work, high, high return, there's high work, low return, there's high work, or there's low work and high return, and then low work and low return. And you want to kind of, ideally, you're in the low effort, great return, uh, or at least moderate effort, great return. You want to go for something that really works out nicely. And again, think of your audience. Can you perhaps show empathy? Can you put walk in their moccasins? Can you think about what they're going through and how you in your project might make their lives just a brief moment of delight? And that might be because of the aesthetic quality that your project brings into their life. It might be something that makes them laugh. It might be something that encourages them. Who knows? But you're the artist. You just get to go out and manipulate that world 
in some kind of three-dimensional. Remember, all your projects here, they have to have um, volume and, and they have to have height, width, and depth. They have to be three-dimensional. And so, uh, as always, you can reach out to me with questions and email, um, but I really encourage you to get involved and uh, do something. Uh, you see, this is, I have here, this is a cup. Uh, and if you go through the examples, you'll see that I use these cups in a project um, that I, I distributed these uh, in, in San Francisco and Davis and um, Berkeley and also um, in Germany, Denmark and England. Um, and I would just go hide these cups um, all over the place, people's homes, cafes, um, restaurants, museums. There's several contemporary art museums that don't know they're exhibiting my work. So um, all those things are possible. Please have fun and uh, reach out to me if you have any questions. And I look forward so much. It really, actually, you're kind of entertaining me. I look forward to seeing what you come up with. So um, that will be uh, fantastic. <laughs>